Right, Beth, this is just a quick demo of how to um, add into your pipeline this extra registration page. So this is it here. So um, I was actually running two different logins because I was kind of split testing them, but they were both going to the same thing. Um, so my normal confirmation page uh, is just the next stage down. That's what they get after they've registered yet. So this is just telling them to come back for that. Um, but then what I'm changing, what I'm adding in, so normally everything would then go to the webinar room in your pipeline. What I've added in is this webinar room login page. And as you'll see, it's dead simple. Uh, you can see from that left side there, it is literally just this opt-in form. Um, so you need to create a new page uh, with the only section in it is the opt-in form. So I've got my heading there and then um, my subheading, everything else fits into that subheading bit in there. Um, setting up a form for it and uh, when they click on that form, the thank you page is going to the next pipeline step. I haven't used any of this text down here. And the next pipeline step is the webinar room. So all I need to do, or all you need to do, is to make sure that the, I'll show you in a second how to put this page in, but then you need to make sure that whatever that URL is, is where all your registration emails. So by default, these are, Kajabi will put in your webinar page in here, but you need to put the new address in when you've got one. So let me quickly show you what I do for how to set a page up. Uh, end a website, page builder, add a new page. Uh, just go with that straight default one, get started. Let's create that. Okay, so by default, it's put all these bits in. I don't want any of these. So I'm just deleting them out. So I'm left with just the call to action. And there you go, and you can see straight away it's already looking quite like what I'd got. The heading, you change that. The subheading, you change that. You know, rewrite your call to action. And then, um, don't worry about this bit just yet. If you save that, go back to your pipeline. And up here it says to add a page. Existing landing page, next. Choose a page, right down here at the last one I just made, webinar registration demo, save it. It will drop it in right at the bottom first, and then you can just jig it around. Actually, there it is. Um, so I slide that up to there. I'll take this one out in a minute. Um, so you're going to go finish setting up this page first of all, and what you're going to do is why I said don't bother with the form bit just yet because it's going to say um, what action do you want to do and you want to put go to the next pipeline step because your next pipeline step is going to be the webinar room. So all you need to do is click up here um, edit the details and make sure that, you, you know, I mean, call that something a bit better, webinar registration, copy that, and that is going to be back to the pipeline. Go back into all your emails and just make sure that on any of these where you've got a link, you know, this is what an hour before you're telling people hurry up and here's your link, head over there. You've got to override that with the link to that registration page. And then all that will happen, they'll go to log in, they'll go to that first, please put in your email, bang, straight into the webinar room, and then you will get some nice steps, stats back. Um, just telling you over here how many people submitted. It's not so much the views, because they might come into the same thing twice, but the submits is telling you the email addresses of people 
um, who actually registered. Okay, so hopefully that helped you. All the best.